Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Being able to strategically use the laws of exponents is uh, something that will be of benefit for you uh, as you are prepared for your final exam uh, for your mathematics N1 and in this particular section I want to show you how you can uh, strategically uh, use the laws of exponents to advantage and in simplifying some of the questions uh, that they can give you in an exam and these exponential um, laws questions they usually carry good marks so now let us check this out you are given here a scenario we are given this kind of a problem i think it's clear from from the screen now it says simplify by only making use of exponential laws so which means if you violate these laws they are going to penalize your mark in the exam and or what i usually uh, like to call um, some suicidal attempts of uh, mathematical uh, violations. I usually re re refer to them as some suicidal attempts, uh, not in a bad way, but <laughs> just uh, on the light fun of it. But do not violate the laws. Use the laws to advantage. If you break the laws, they will penalize you. Now, let us see how best you could have uh, worked this out and um, what it is going to lead to. Now, let us start with the first one. If I can just divide my page, actually, if I can just have it up to here and say, what are we given here? The first part that we're given, if I can start with the one that we're given is, uh, I want to check that one and see what it simplifies to. It's always uh, better to work it in parts so that you can see what it leads to but the whole of the problem the way the examiners are doing it it must lead to a, a simple answer that's uh, how they are usually prepared remember they have already worked this out so they know that they cannot give you something that does not have a solution so now let us look at this you are having in this case uh, a cube root of 27 x to the power of 33 now with the cube root there that the three there what they want to test from you is that do you know that with the laws of exponents that one is 1 over 3 to the that with is the bracket to the power of 1 over 3 so from the cube root to the exponent they just want to check whether are you able to trans to to to, to transform that into that and again we have got a number of 27 there. They also want to check whether are you aware that 27 can be expressed as an exponent. So if I take the calculator and as, an, as a student, you always need to know such numbers, uh, numbers that can be expressed in terms of 2, in terms of 3, and in terms of 5. So 2, you need to know how many ways uh, can 2 be expressed. Um, you need to know so for so for numbers like two you need to know um different ways in which two can i mean two can it be, can be expressed like eight is two to the power of three sixty four is two to the power of six if i'm not mistaken like five uh hundred and twenty five is five to the power of three so like for example twenty seven if you say three times three is nine times three you see it's twenty seven so look at it twenty seven is three to the power of three because there are three of them but they wanted to test, are you able to identify that? So this is 3 to the power of 3 and x to the power of 33. Now, I want you to see, as I say, that the examiners, they know 
whatever they give you um they don't just give you a question without uh knowing what it will lead to but now look at this you can see that we have got a 3 a 33 and a 3 everything is a multiple of 3 that's why they give that so that um it can further simplify so at this stage then you can take this particular 3 and it will multiply that and it will multiply that that's how you distribute the exponent using the laws of exponents so you'll be having 3 to the power of 3 times now that 1 over 3 is an exponent and then we have got your x to the power of 33 times again that 1 over 3 so you see how uh, this kind of a scenario simplifies so that at the end you are going to be then having if you cancel 3 there is a 1 3 into 33 is 11 so you're going to have 3x to the power of 11 so you can see that this is where um that particular part simplifies so you are having in this case 3 um 3x to the power of 11 so i can come here and say equal to put that part remember the top part gave me 3x to the exponent 11 and then i look at the other one that i feel like needs some further uh, simplification in this case um i can okay this one is already uh, much simplified what it needs is you can see that this negative needs to go to the top and when it goes to the top it will become a positive so i can uh, already take it there to say it will be times x to the power if it's negative it will become positive so it's x to the power of 2 so you can see i use the law of exponent but my 3 will remain at the bottom there because i need that i mean the 3 is to the power of 1 so it will remain at the bottom you can see later that the 3 there is going to cancel and then having done that it's times i'm trying to show you here how these are simplified much simpler if i can now uh, focus on that one in which is in brackets so it is minus 3 x to the power of 3 now what i want to show you here is um just want to do it without using the laws of exponents but i just want to show you how uh, this is it means minus 3x remember it's three times minus 3x and minus 3x that is actually what it means now how many negatives are you having you've got one two it will become a positive and there's an extra negative so it's negative how many three is three to the power of three and then how many x again is x to the power of three so in actual fact in here what they are saying is minus three to the power of three and x to the power of three that is actually what it meant but i hope you're able to say that so now if i write uh, this uh, kind of the part is to be like this it will be minus 3 to the power of 3 and then remember i have got my x to the power of 3 and then i'm dividing that by 3 to the power x squared so maybe if i can then do that so now how do i then simplify that further uh, what i need then is for me to be able to um, cancel you can see that the 3 simplifies with that 3 to become a 1 it become a 1 and using the laws of exponents x to the power of 11 times x to the power of 2 if it's the same basis you add that so such that i'll be having x to the power of 11 plus 2 remember that 
now times and then the next part now that I'm having is uh, the one which is a bit trickier is the one on the actually not tricky but uh, that I need to further simplify if I can leave the numbers as minus 3 to the power of 3 all over 3 and then I say times now why am I doing that I'm going to write this one x to the power of 3 and then I want this 2 to go to the top to join the other x so it will simply become remember it's a division sign it will become negative 2 I'm using the second law of exponents there so this then becomes 11 plus 2 it will be x to the power of 13 and then times now if I can cancel this particular 3 now there are two of them this one um, will cancel to become 2 but remember they say using only laws of exponents so I can say I can actually say minus minus 3 to the power there is a 1 there so it will be 3 minus 1 that's what is actually saying there there is you subtract there and then x to the power 3 minus 2 is a 1 so you'll be having that negative is affecting everything because everything is multiplying is minus 3 you can start with the number 3 minus 1 is 2 again x the x and the x you can see I still have extra uh, one there it will be 13 plus 1 which is negative 3 squared um, if it's 3 squared and then x to the power of 14 which is negative 9 x to the power of 14 now then comes the part which um, so this is the answer as I say um, that you you could have simplified it too then comes the part which uh, sometimes encourage it is the testing stage whereby I encourage you to test your answer now testing your answer what you do is you can say for example let x be equal to maybe for example let's say x be equal to 3 for argument's sake and then you take your calculator and you start with uh, we can start with your final answer here and say uh, with your final answer you got minus 9 remember x is 3 so you say 3 to the power of 14 it will be a big number because 9 3 to the power of 14 you can see is this number is 4304 67 21 is 43046721 and one thing I remember is it was negative so if I can uh, compare is 43046721 and remember it's negative I do the same I take the same to the uh, top whereby I'm having cube root of 27 remember my x is 3 to the power of 33 and then this 3 at the bottom and then is 3 to the power of negative 2 that's still fine I can do that see that and then I say times do the same thing I put a bracket I'm just following uh, the original one now negative 3 now my x is times 3 close that to the power of 3 and then at the bottom is 3 times 3 squared then if I do that 
I check check my answer is negative 43 zero four sixty seven twenty one look how my final answer and the one that i used uh for testing in this case are matching so when there is such a matching it means my first question and my simplified answer these two from the top to the final answer it means nothing has changed it's still the same simplified version of the top so that's how i usually uh, uh, use it to gain a confidence to say um, my answer is correct. I hope this strategy will uh, somehow work for you. I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you. And as I said, if you benefited from the video, you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below. And if you want to be notified of these videos, you can always uh, subscribe to our channel. Now, if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics, if you are studying for mathematics N1, N2 or N3 and you want the test book as well as the videos, we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics N1, N2, N3 as well as the accompanying videos. We also have videos of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website. And trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.